Hi, Peter Charles here, Folk to Fly Fly Fishing, and welcome to my series on Forgotten Flies, uh, Bucktails and Streamers. Today we're going to tie the Grey Witch. It's a Carrie Stevens uh, style uh, Rangely series fly. A uh, very attractive pattern. I think it'd be a great uh, fish catcher. It's also rather simple. Uh, it's a good first fly uh, to do in this series, uh, especially since the wing is is done in one section instead of two halves. It makes it even simpler. Uh, so let's get going and looking at the material. The hook is going to be a size four, three extra heavy, seven extra long. I'm going to do the entire series on this uh, size of hook. I think it's ideal for fishing. And I've got a video up describing my rationale for it. Our thread is going to be a black 8-aught Vivas. The body is a uh, Uni Mylar, uh, gold, silver, and size 10. We're going to be using the silver side. We're going to use white bucktail for the underwing. We're going to be using some peacock curl, over which we'll have some grizzly hackle. And that grizzly hackle will have some um, jungle cock. The throat will be orange saddle. Now I've prepared my materials ahead of time. I've prepared the wing ahead of time. You've seen the video on preparing these wings. Uh, so we'll just get going and uh, launch right into it. I'm going to start with my thread a little bit further back. There's a lot of material that goes on this head, so you've got to give yourself some space. Okay, now tie on our tinsel. And make sure it's the length of the thread wrapped section, wind back, then come forward. And we're going to go in slow touching turns, keeping that material on top. Okay, now to wind on our body. Touching turns, don't leave any black to showing. Okay, at this point we tie on our bucktail. We're going to stack it, and I have really made this sparse. You don't want a lot of bucktail here. And try to use some straight material. You know, you don't want it. You want it basically the hook length, maybe a little bit longer. Now make sure you are okay there. Stylistically, you could tie this the length of the hook, you, or you could tie it a little bit more. I'm choosing to tying it a little bit longer. That's strictly your choice. Now I've pre prepped some peacock curl. You can see I put some tape on it to hold these the right length. You don't want them moving. You want that peacock curl to be the length of your bucktail. Now, if you look at the pictures in the book, the peacock curl lines up beautifully and is all dead straight. Good luck finding enough. So this is a little bit ragged, this peacock curl, but that's, you know, that's the reality of fly tying. So I get a couple of wraps in there nice and snugly. Bind down the peacock curl. Now the last thing I'm going to do is put in my wing. So I'm going to put in my throat now. You always tie your wing last. You don't want to tie the wing on and start tying something else and end up disturbing the wing. Okay, pull a nice loose wrap in there. Make sure your throat is centered. We've got one bucktail that wants to stick out. Okay, 
So you leave your thread at the back. Now I've assembled my wing ahead of time. We showed in the video. We're going to line that up. And this wing sits on top. So when we tie this one on, we put a wrap in, pull up, loose wrap, pull up, loose wrap, pull up. You want your wing sitting on top. You don't want your wing twisting over when you bind it down. Now we finish off the head. We add a whip finish. And finally some head cement. Okay, there's our gray witch. I think that'll be a very effective pattern. I really like the look of that. I think it has some sort of a good bit of a brook trout feel to it. I know there's no green in the wing, but nevertheless, you know, over that orange and the white and that grizzly, I think it's going to work really, really well. Uh, and you notice how I tied the wing on top. I pre-assembled the wing. Uh, you know, trying to do that piece by piece, it's too much of a pain. It goes together very simply once the, the wings are uh, prepared in advance. So there you go, the Grey Witch. Uh, give it a try and fish it. I think it'll do very well. Cheers.